So this is your spoiler warning for this video. We're going to talk about a major possible spoiler. In fact, I'm going to go so far as to say very likely spoiler based on the source. So before we go any further, just let you know this video will contain a spoiler for Star Wars Episode 8. Now... Recently on the MakingStarWars.net podcast. And the one I'm speaking of specifically is episode 162 of Now This Is Podcasting. A major spoiler was revealed for Rey and Luke in Star Wars Episode 8. And the reason why I trust Making Star Wars is because Making Star Wars has in the past been unbelievably and sometimes scarily accurate with some of the stories that they report and some of the spoilers that they put out. There's a lot of BS out there. A lot of garbage YouTube channels that put up constant videos about, oh, script leak, script leak, script leak, and it's all bullshit. But making Star Wars has been incredibly accurate with their information, and thus I trust them very, very much with this. I don't know if they got a guy who works at Lucasfilm or not. I I don't know, but basically what was said is that as we remember, as all of you remember, at the end of Force Awakens, Rey arrives on Ahch 2, where Luke is at in the original Jedi Temple and is about to hand him his original lightsaber, the one that belonged to his father. And most of us presumed that this would begin Rey's training into becoming a Jedi Knight from Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. Well, we've come to believe from this podcast what was said is that, yes, Rey will be training on that island and apparently she will be with Luke Skywalker for a substantial amount of screen time. They shot a lot of things on Skellig Michael Island. Now, how much of that will actually make the final film? That remains to be seen, but... It makes it seem from the podcast that they're going to be on there for the vast majority of the film. And the big spoiler coming out of it is that at some point in the movie, Rey is going to be fighting a giant sea monster. That's what was said in there. Obviously, the sea monster is probably going to be a mixture of CGI and maybe some animatronic, maybe some actual real practical effects we're not sure but there's supposed to be a scene where ray fights a sea monster it seems a little cheesy when you first read it but if you remember in star wars we're always seeing monster battles remember luke fought the rancor in return of the jedi the wampa in empire strikes back you're always going to see some kind of giant monster in star wars we didn't really see it in episode 7 with the exception of maybe the wrath tars and now we're going to see it in episode 8 what do you guys think about this spoiler? I want to know. Do you think that it's going to be a cool sequence? I'm sure Ryan Johnson wouldn't put something in there if it wasn't cool. But my main question to all of you is, what are your thoughts on the idea that Ray may be on that island for the majority, if not all of the movie? I think it's a very bold and brave move of Ryan Johnson to do something like that, to have Ray and Luke be there the entire time without moving the story along as far as locations and things like that. But you have to remember that we also are going to be looking at the stories of Kylo Ren, Poe, Finn, Princess Leia. There's other things going on in the galaxy while all this is going on. But the question still remains, how do you feel about this? Do you think that they should maybe cut that down like do you think it's gonna ruin the movie or are you excited about it you have to remember ryan johnson's the kind of director who would do something like this i mean if you look at his breaking bad episodes that he worked on he does things outside the box so what do you think about all this i will leave links to makingstarwars.net i'll actually leave a link right to their podcast page you can listen to it for yourself and then of course leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts Thank you for watching, and remember, I've got an upcoming episode of Star Wars Discussions right here on this channel featuring Alex from Star Wars Explained as we go into the order to watch the movies now that Rogue One is out. If you're wondering what order should I watch Star Wars in, or if you want to get some one of your friends or your girlfriend into the series, we have an answer for you. Talk to you then, and may the Force be with all of you.